here's how to make this really cool photo walkout effect in the latest version of PowerPoint. The first step is to find a background image, ideally one with a frame, so that the 3D model can walk or fly out of it. The one that I chose to use is this one from Pexels.com. Now I wanted to just use the left side here so that we're removing the person and we're also making the frame larger so that we can focus on it. So this is how I crop this photo. And here's what it looks like on the slide. Next, I wanted to change the inside of this photo to be the one with the astronaut that I was working on. So, inspired by the recent moon landing anniversary, I wanted to work towards something like this famous picture. And the one that I found that I thought could be useful is this one from NASA, because we have a nice surface here of the moon onto which we can put our own astronaut 3D model. So what I did here is I cropped just to the left side of the astronaut so that you can see just this part here. And you can see part of the shadow, but it kind of looks like a rock here, so I didn't really mind that. So essentially I took this cropped image and then I stuck it onto this gallery image that you saw earlier so that it looked like this overall. And now once you have this nice background image, you're ready for the next step, which is adding the animated 3D model. Here's an animated 3D model that I got from Microsoft's Remix 3D website. And the way to get access to that is you go to insert and then 3D models and then from online sources. And then from here you can go to all animated 3D models and choose one of these to work with. And of course I chose the astronaut here. So since it's already there, I'm not gonna insert it again. And just so you know, the Remix 3D website, unfortunately, is going away in January of 2020. So download any 3D models that you need until then. Um, but for now, we can still access all of them. So now that we have this in here, let's make sure that it has a forward motion option. And to, to do that, we go to 3D model, and then we look at the scenes, which is Microsoft's built-in animation options. And we do have a scene called scene four, in which the astronaut is kind of walking forward. And this is the one that we're gonna be using. So now that we have this model, we can go ahead and put it into our picture here. So we go control V to paste and it's right there for us. And I've already positioned it in the correct way in the image here. Now, if you've seen my other tutorial with the dinosaur, you know that it's very, very important to add shadows and just make sure that this 3D model blends in with the rest of the photo. So let me zoom in here for a little bit. And you can tell that everything else has a shadow, but the astronaut doesn't. And the astronaut is also very white compared to the rest of the photo. And since we can't change shading on the 3D model itself, we're going to need to add something like this, which I call the blend overlay, my fancy word for it, and then also the shadow that goes under the astronaut. And just so you know, these are very simple shapes with just some soft edges here. I'll show you what the shading is like on these. Um, so this one's a solid fill that's with black color with a transparency of 84% to get that kind of gray. And I'll show you that'll kind of cast the astronaut in a little bit more of a gray tone to match the rest of the picture. And then the shadow will go underneath the astronaut so that it'll blend in with the picture a lot better. And this one is just, again, a black oval with a transparency of 9%. And then for the soft edges, this one has 15 points and this one has 25 points and of course we'll change the size of these as we blend everything together so just so that you can see here is the before and here's the after with both of those elements added 
As you can see here is the blend overlay. It's kind of like a little shadow that goes on top of everything and just blends everything together a lot nicer. And then the shadow is right underneath the astronaut right here. So let me put that back here. And again, here's the before and here's the after. So it looks a lot more natural afterwards. And after this, we are ready for our next step, which is to animate this. For the animations, I thought it would be easiest to just kind of walk you through the animations on the animation pane that I created. So first, the in order for the 3D model to kind of walk out of the, the frame, it needs to be growing as it's walking toward us. So here's kind of that walk here. Um, if we go to the animations here, it's that scene four that we talked about earlier where the astronaut is actually walking or moonwalking in this case. And then this is a grow effect that makes the astronaut grow 300% as he's walking, which makes it look like he's jumping out of the frame. Next, on the shadow, we have a very slight downward motion path here. So the shadow kind of moves with the astronaut as he goes out of the frame and then disappears as it reaches the bottom of the image. And then as it's, the shadow is going down, um, here's an interesting one. What I did is the astronaut does a little bit of a bounce and the shadow does a shrink in the middle of the motion path and then bounces back up to its original size. So if we examine that here, you can see that it shrinks down to 50% of its original size and then auto reverses to get back to its original size by the end. And then of course, at the very end, it also fades away as the astronaut kind of comes out of the frame. So if we see that all together and watch the little shadow in particular, here is what it looks like. Very, very cool. And of course, play around with this with your own images. Check out other 3D models or the animated ones from the Remix 3D website. If you do want to use the astronaut, then I have this little starter kit that I've put together for you, which is which has the, the moon landing image, the gallery image, and of course the 3D model, which will be quite a hot commodity when the Remix 3D website goes down. Well, thanks a lot for watching and see you for my next tutorial.